Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ty here, back with another video. So it's been a while since you guys had, well since I have posted a video on my YouTube page. I kind of quit YouTube, but that's neither here or there. Um, so today's video, as you guys seen by the title, I am going to be giving a review on the new Julia's Place Foundation. Um, telling you guys my thoughts and trying it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. Make sure you guys like and comment and subscribe if you are new to my channel. Um, don't forget to post, put on your post notifications so you guys can be notified every time I post a video. And let's go ahead and get into this review, you guys. Okay, so this is the foundation that they just released. Um, I don't know if you guys can read it or see it, but this is what it comes in the packaging. Um, the color I got is 310. Um, and this is the Natural Radiant Foundation. I am magic and stuff like that um i got this from ulta it's only 23 dollars i think it was like 23 24 dollars um so it wasn't really that expensive um i did do a little test um to find my color while i was in the store um it smelled kind of good it does have a um, fragrance to it uh, when i had it in the store and me and the cashier was talking and she said that it had a nice smell a nice fragrance smell to it so i will say it does have um a fragrance on it as well this is my first time ever trying julia's place um foundation i didn't try the other foundation um so i don't know really how it compares to the other foundation um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and try it i'm gonna go ahead off camera and go ahead and do my eyebrows and stuff and get that out the way and i will come back so we can match shade match see how well it covers um as you guys can see some little marks and stuff i had a really really bad breakout so i'm hoping that this foundation is going to give me the full coverage that i want so okay guys so i went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and primed my face um so let's go ahead and try out this foundation. Um, so I'm going to shake it real well because it does say shake really, really well before use. Um, so this is a pump foundation. I'm just going to put some right here. A few pumps. Now, I will say if you might have trouble getting the foundation through the pump. I don't know if that's just, I did get a little some out. Um, so yeah, you might have to take the pump off and pretty much get your foundation like that. I don't know what's going on with the pumps, but I know when I was testing it at the store, some of them had difficulties kind of pumping out. Uh, so that's just a little FYI for you guys. I'm going to go in with this brush. So let's see. It is a little lighter. I probably will go back and do maybe a darker shade than this one. Um... But I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out and see if it's a foundation that oxidized or may get a little bit darker. Um, it does, it does have a smell. It's more like a fruity, it kind of puts me in like a fruity candy kind of mindset, the smell. Um, so yeah, but the coverage is really, really good. Cause as you guys can see here, over here. It covered up a lot um so yeah um that's a good thing um the smell doesn't really bother me i know some people may not want their foundation to have a lot of smell um 
but it smells good it really smells great so as you guys can see i'm gonna see how it is and how it all comes together but i would definitely go probably go back and get a darker shade just a see just to compare and see if it's a more better match um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and blend the rest of this foundation out and i'm gonna come back and let you guys know my final thoughts so yeah this is pretty much it all blended out it is i would say pretty much i wouldn't say probably full coverage but it's close i would probably give it full coverage um because i feel like if you go in when I, if i was to go in with another layer it would be too much makeup and i feel like this is pretty much just enough to cover all the dark marks that i had you really can't really see um so yeah it's really a good coverage the smell doesn't bother me it smells good um if you're a type of person that you feel like um i would just test it just a little bit of it and see if you have sensitive skin or you feel like the fragrance might break you out um i'm sensitive skin so i like to try it um if i feel like i have irritation of course make sure you completely wash it off discontinue it um use of it but to me the fragrance is fine um so far i haven't had any irritation with the foundation being on um so yeah pretty much i like it i feel like i probably would maybe want to go try just one more shade down or i think their shades go up um but i would probably try to go with a darker shade than this one just to see um if it would be a better match for me um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and see how it looks with the concealer and contour and pretty much a full face on to see how it is it does have a lot of shine to it so if you are a person that gets oily of course go in with your setting powder it can kind of take some of the shine down but if you're me i have really dry skin so i'm fine with the glow and the shine and the hydration it doesn't bother me at all so i'm gonna go in like i said and finish my whole face and see how it does with other products and how well it comes together and i will give you my complete final thoughts once i come so this is the final look with everything um coming together um so let's go ahead and tell you guys my final thoughts of this foundation um to me out of five i would probably give it a four um it's really really good it's a good foundation it's really good coverage um it goes well with everything together with the concealer contour all that and one so it really is a pretty foundation plus for the price you're getting a good foundation um and a good coverage for the price that it is 23 dollars. you can't beat that um compared to high-end brands and everything else um the only reason why i give it a kind of like a 4 4.5 is because yes it smells good 
but um my only concern is do i want to keep smelling this fragrance all throughout the day as i go on is it going to kind of give me a headache i haven't worn it long enough to see that's my only concern because the smell is good but as some fragrances can give people headaches if they keep smelling it constantly and if it's a very strong fragrance this is strong because even with everything else on um even if you spray scent spray on or other products on that has its own stuff it's strong and it's overpowering so yeah it to me it's just how long am i going to be able to tolerate the fragrance um, but other than that, the fragrance is good. I just wish it would probably be a little bit more toned down. Um, uh, just so you might not have to smell it all day. But the cover is good. I love the coverage. I love the color. Um, I love the formula as far as how it goes on. Um, to me, it is radiant. It's very hydrating. Um, so if you do have oily skin, of course, you might want to kind of tone it down. Um, the only thing I wish they did, I wish they would come out with a concealer with the foundation. Um, that is one thing I did wish they would have did. Maybe they might come out with it later. Um, but yeah, I can't really compare it to the other foundation because I haven't tried their, um, other foundation at all. Um, but this one I would definitely keep and I would probably wear, um, a couple more times. Like I said, I might go back and see about going a shade darker uh, just to see if it would match me better than this one but this one to me is a good match as well it's doable um so yeah so i recommend going to get this product if you're looking for something that is affordable and gives you full coverage um as you guys can see you guys can go back and look at the beginning of the video how you can my face was looking compared to now you can hardly see any marks any dark marks any that any dark circles and everything else so it is a good coverage foundation for the price that it is um like i said the only thing i would think that people will probably may be concerned about is probably the fragrance um it just all depends on your how you tolerate it um but yeah it doesn't bother me uh like i said i might not want to smell it all day long if i was to wear this all day um but yeah but other than that, it looks really, really good. I like it. I recommend you guys go get it if you're looking for something, a new foundation to try. Um, or you're just looking for something that's a little bit better than what you're using now. And you don't want to break your pockets. Definitely, definitely go check out this foundation. Because um, it's really, really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so, yeah. I got mine at my local Ulta, you guys can go to Ulta. I'm not sure if it's at Fosora, um, Sephora or not. I haven't been to Sephora for a while, so I might go over there anyway um, and check out and see what they got. But yeah, you can definitely pick it up at Ulta. Um, my Ulta was pretty much almost wiped out completely. Um, so I was glad that I was able to snatch this one. Um, they do have powder foundation um, as well. If you guys want me to review the powder, foundation that they did release with this as well comment down below let me know what you guys think of this um let me know if you guys tried it if you have tried it let me know your opinions down below in the comment section give me your thoughts do you guys like the fragrance do you guys like the formula do you guys like the coverage what do you guys think i want to know your thoughts let's have a discussion in the in the comment section below but that is all for now. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.